Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Burris Optics and the Eliminator Laser Scope, Stormcloth 2 Performance Outerwear, Corbon DPX Ammunition, Kershaw Knives, the new Bresser 360 Trail Camera, Steiner Binoculars, Outdoor Trail Freeze Dried Foods, Montana Decoy Company, CVA Muzzle Loaders, and UDAP Bear Pepper Spray. Well, folks, welcome to another episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. Today, I'm in Alaska, the wilderness of Alaska. We're here today hunting grizzly bears. About two weeks ago, I got a call from Jim Bailey. He asked me if I had time to come up and guide one of my own personal clients, Will Rebelli. Will booked an early season hunt on migrating bears coming down to feed on the spawning king salmon. It's awesome, fast-paced action down in the river bottoms. Uh, everything's up close and personal. It's terrific. Will takes a great bear. Now also, I uh, had a little bit of a bonus that week. Another client that was in camp, not one of my clients, one of Jim's personal clients, Todd Gardner, also was there. And he hadn't yet taken a bear when we got Will tagged out. So I went along and uh, took him up and down the river with another one of Jim's staff, located another great bear. He takes a beautiful interior grizzly bear, absolutely blonde, chocolate boots, awesome trophy. Tell you what, let's go out now uh, to hunt with Will Rebelli uh, in his search for a beautiful interior grizzly. This week's episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures takes us deep into the tall Keatna Mountains, a few hundred miles north of Anchorage, Alaska, in pursuit of one of the most dangerous game animals in North America, the grizzly bear. We'll join Steve's Outdoor Adventures client Will Rebelli and guide Steve West, along with master guide and outfitter Jim Bailey, as they watch over salmon streams in search of hungry bears. We'll also join Todd Gardner and his guide Steve West along with Don Fernandez as they stalk to close range on a huge grizzly. This week we get up close and personal with the grizzly bears of Alaska on another action-packed episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. Let's join Steve's Outdoor Adventures client, Will Rebelli, and guide Steve West as they leave base camp. We'll get in the boat, we're going to run down the farm the way, we'll get, and then we'll, we'll start walking up the salmon streams looking for a feeding bear. We did see a real nice blonde one flying in last night. Had plenty of time. That's the exception to the rule. Typically a good seven and a half to eight foot bear is real primo for this area. We'll look at the hair. Once again, last week they got a bear that had good hair. Normally this time of year they don't have hair for piddly on them. So that's something else we have to keep in mind. Look, here comes another big king up the river. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and move down the river and keep our eyes on the, you know, on the objective. in the water. There's 
something waiting in the water. Did you hear that? Welcome back to Steve's Outdoor Adventures as we join client Will Rebelli and guide Steve West along with master guide and outfitter Jim Bailey as they patiently wait along a salmon stream hoping to spot a hungry grizzly bear cruising the stream for an easy meal. A few hours into the hunt they spot their first grizzly scanning the stream for salmon. Soon after, another grizzly enters the opposite side of the stream and heads directly towards the hunters. This bear is young and Steve decides to pass. Need him to get just a little bit bigger for this guy. No little bears for Will. Later in the hunt, the first grizzly they spotted reemerges from the undergrowth and works his way along the stream directly in front of the hunters. This was another young bear, and Will once again decides to pass.
Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return, we'll connect on a grizzly bear in Alaska. We're sitting here watching the spawning beds for some bears that we've seen feeding here over the last two days. The mosquitoes are so bad this year that DEET does nothing for you. I mean, you can put all the bug dope on you want. But you, if you don't carry something like a thermocell unit, I mean, with that thermocell, I, I'm not sitting down here on this river, I guarantee it. There's so many, so many mosquitoes this year, it's just pathetic. It's the worst Jim Bailey's seen it in 30 years. And I believe it entirely. This is, this is, we sat down here and we were just swarmed with them. This thing takes 10, 15 minutes to start working. We put it out, ignited it. We got nothing. We got no mosquitoes around us. Every time we sit down, this thing keeps it right. I don't travel to the North Country without my thermosel. Now it's back to hunting as Steve's Outdoor Adventures client Will Rebelli, Steve West, and Master Guide Jim Bailey stalk along a salmon stream in late evening on the third day of their hunt. Jim had spotted a nice bear moving along the stream and the group tries to close the distance on the grizzly. Jim spots the bear and tells Will to shoot just as the cameraman gets into position to film the shot. Well folks, as you can see, we just concluded a, a great brown bear hunt. We had uh, given up on our ambush site earlier where we'd seen some sows with cubs and a couple of juvenile bears. We were making our way back and Jim and I had been talking where we might ambush a bear feeding along the stream looking for some salmon. Turn up, we popped through the brush. We had just a few seconds. We spotted the bear, moved forward just a little bit, got set up on him. Will made a great shot. We were trying to turn if he's a shooter or not. Kind of have a thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle thing. And thumbs started down and as he got closer and came out of the brush, the thumbs started getting higher and higher. The bear actually surprises me. Jim knows his bears. He told me before the shot went off, he said, this one's gonna surprise you. And uh, well, Will's been itching to pull the trigger for a few days. We've been pulling him off these younger bears left and right. What do you think? Is it worth holding out for? Definitely. I'd like to thank you and I'd like to thank uh, Jim Wolf for a great hunt. For the better part, a great, a great shot of yeah. One shot kill, by the way. Now let's join hunter Todd Gardner along with Steve West and Don Fernandez as they work their way down salmon streams in search of a grizz. The hunters had caught a glimpse of a big grizzly bear working its way along the stream and they sneak in for a closer look.
As Steve and Don are planning their next move, the bear emerges from the brush directly in front of the hunters. Hold on. Hold on. Reload. Reload the gun. Good one. Good one, buddy. Todd's not one of our Steve's Outdoor Adventures clients, but he was pleasant enough to allow me to tag along on his hunt. Let us film the hunt. Well, we've seen a lot of bears really in the last couple of days. I have. I think this is probably the prettiest one. Beautiful blonde coat, nice hump, more dark colored boots, nice ears, real, real, real happy. Yeah, it's, it's a terrific interior grizzly. Just square very nicely, over seven and a half feet squared easily. Uh, you can't ask for better than pure blonde with chocolate boots. Pure interior grizzly.